This episode, join Jess on possibly his finest week of sailing thus far. Perhaps a reward from the sailing gods for that horrendous passage to Newcal. Solo sailing all the stars, he manages to reel in a marlin. And later, find some of the most pristine reef he's ever explored. Oh, and let's not forget an appearance from an old, almost naked friend. Welcome back to All The Stars Sailing Adventures. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Corals, this, there's big plate corals everywhere. Visibility is insane. I'm really excited to get in the water here. I can't wait to start filming this. This is just perfect. Sometimes I just got to pinch myself. The corals were just in an amazing condition. Very, very happy, very stoked to found this place. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a real must see if you get a, a chance to snorkel off your island. Just beautiful sailing conditions. We've got light winds, uh, very little swell, and um, yeah, the temperature's beautiful. So I couldn't be happier, couldn't ask for more really uh, for a day sail. I think the usual standard uh, trade winds at this time of year would be 20 to 25 knots. So it'd be, you'd get there quicker, but it'd be a lot rougher. Only a few hours out of Townsville, heading north, with the boat practically sailing itself on autopilot, my trolling rod went crazy. After a brisk initial fight, with the fish jumping spectacularly out of the water, I wound in and glimpsed a marlin. It then promptly took off again. Pretty exciting, I just hooked my first ever marlin. Back 
but it was a spectacular fight. It did a lot of pirouetting and jumping out of the water uh, when it first hooked up. And then by the time I finally wore it out, landed into the boat probably 10 to 15 minutes, the stern of the boat while I was trying to grab the hook and okay. pull the hook out of its bill, um, its mouth. So I was able to hold the bill uh, to, um, to get it to release. It was fairly subdued, but it kicked and kicked and fought a little bit. Reckon meter, meter twenty, maybe a little bit bigger. Relax, relax. Um, not a big marlin, but there's no legal size in Queensland. You're only allowed. Uh, you're, there's a bag limit, but <laughs> the boat had to sail itself. It had dropped some sail, like let the sails out to try and slow the boat down give me a little bit more advantage to um, pull pull it in towards the boat. So I think we we're doing about six knots, six and a half knots when, it, when we hooked up. Would have been a lot of food for one person. Um, would have filled up my fridge, so I probably didn't need that much fish. Yeah, it's, uh, it's happily released. It swam off. It did, did take a few seconds to sort of gather itself, but hopefully it's not a, a damaged fish. It might be a psychologically damaged, but... Um, it was a great fight and uh, lives to, to tell the story another day and hopefully grow a little bit bigger before it um, meets its end. But yeah, wow, what an experience. Okay, so the same lure went back in the water and within an hour and a half, we have hooked a mackerel. So we've got a spotted mackerel this time. So here is my consolation prize for putting the marlin back. I've just tied the fish off to the back of the boat until I can drop sail and pull in here. I'm just about at um, Casement Bay where I'm going to spend the night and um, should catch a bit of sunset and uh, I'll clean it once I finish sailing, seeing as I'm so close. Look at this for an anchorage, eh? Yeah, I'm going to clean these little guys up, skin them probably and stick them in the, in the fridge. Clean it up. mackerel and uh, check that out as a view. Yes, so uh, we're going to cook the mackerel for Jesse tonight. Uh, we have the mackerel pre cleaned, of course, uh, and uh, an egg whipped uh, with some flour. I like to use a uh, Rice bran oil for frying because it has a sm high smoke point. First thing we do is we take the mackerel, we chuck it in the flour, yeah? Oui, oui, monsieur. Le veau français. Oui, oui. You uh, toss it like you would toss uh, a mango at a monkey. What? <laughs> okay, so. Now I'm just coating this lovely mackerel in a, just a little bit uh, of the egg. Jet in the frying pan. Voila! I think it will be uh, very, very delicious, no? We want the golden color. It's just like a very, very nice, beautiful woman with a beautiful dark skin. Yes. I will just show you this uh, cucumber salad, yeah? It's very simple. You peel the cucumber, you cut it thinly, you put a lot of salt on top, and then you let sit for one hour. Up this, you must give a very little rinse, not too much. And then I will dress it with olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar or white wine vinegar, whatever you have, a sprinkling of pepper, a little bit of finely chopped garlic, and then it's perfect, yeah? Okay. It's a very simple recipe from my mother. This very, very simple cucumber salad is delicious, yeah? So, I will serve the Bordeaux style, 
Bordeaux, a region in France, yes, it's a city. And there they say, Je habite ici, which is France for. I live and eat here, very, very good mackerel from Australia. Okay, so this is now done. Look at that. Look at that mackerel. Mmm, golden. A little bit of rice there. On top the fish. Presentation is everything. I like to do a wedge of lemon. Just put a little bit of chili oil. Sprinkle on top. So, ANC, what do you think? How's it taste? Uh, okay, so uh, I will try this very special meal. Mm, I've had worse. Uh, thank you for joining the Naked Chef. Uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, next time, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you're enjoying our videos, please subscribe and give us a like so we can keep you updated. Now that you've subscribed, why not join us next week where I sail through the Palm Islands en route to pick up Rachel in Cairns.